wing for Barbara. Swung in. Here we go, shot there. Shot off. Originally by... Can you get oh, they found it! They found it! Barbara have taken the lead here at the Silver Lake Stadium. And it is Salim Saeed who gives the Yellows the lead. It's a fantastic goal. You have to say, probably deserved in the uh, 22 minutes that have already been played. Farnborough have been the strongest side. And they have grabbed the goal. The goal that they've deserved. Absolutely superb there by Farnborough. The more dominant team so far. Not, not that I'm discrediting Eastley like that, because the last few minutes Eastley have um, grown well defended. well defended as Tom Bragg goes down, gets straight back up. Here's Song Wu Yang. Song Wu Yang doesn't want to be playing with the ball there. Ooh. Loses possession. Chance for Barbara. Here we go. It's Parker. Slots it it's away. in. It's in. Clinical as you like Slots from Mitch Parker. Away. You have to say that Song Wu Yang playing with fire. Unfortunately, he got burnt. Farnborough capitalised on the chance given to them. Three on one. It just looked cool. As you like. Yeah, there. Mitch Parker From took Mitch the opportunity. Parker, you have a look at the replay here. Clinical finish. Looked up, left footed, slots it away. Easy. Easy as you like. On the left hand side of the goal. Bambra 2, Eastley 0. And now Eastley have got a bit more of work to do here. Yeah. If they want something in this game. You have a major job to do here. They don't want to. They don't want to drop their heads because I know teams um, can do that, and so many. Obviously, we've seen millions before in this world of football. Coming up to 78 minutes into this game, we've got 12 minutes and then stoppage time left. We'll only have extra time. If Whipped in. Eastley can find. Can two they get goals. a shot off? Oh, he's gone they're down. Gonna, they're going to ask for a penalty here. Is it given a penalty? The referee has given yeah, a, penalty. It's a penalty. It's a penalty for the Spitfire. Peter Lowe home turf. believes that that was a penalty. They could get something back here easily. Could Lowell, this Simpson, be, Lowell Simpson was fouled there. Could this be the chance for Eastley to get back into this game? And Lowell Simpson will take the, will take the free uh, penalty. Do we have so any this bookings is, then? I don't know. Look at the replay. We see here, cuts back inside. Oh, it is, isn't yeah, it? it is just He's done just it all ends up. And then you have to here say we go. It's a penalty. Big, big moment in this game. If Eastley pull one back here, they are well in this game. And Listen to that Jamie. crowd. Here's Lyle Simpson. Scores! Bottom two right, 2 1. Much to the delight of the home two crowd. One. Even though they're using the away dressing room tonight. But that has put Eastley back in the game. Come on, says Lyle Simpson. 2-1 yeah. here at the Silver Lake Stadium. Farnborough 2, Eastley 1. Yeah, he slotted that away well, Jack. Slotted oh, it well. fantastic penalty. Slotted it, right foot, side footed it. But he will have a free kick of his own here. Could this really, well and truly, put the Spitfires back in the game on their home turf in their own backyard? Need a good ball into the box here. It's essential that... You just float this ball into the far, far side of this box. Eastley centre halves look eager to get on the ball. Here's K Dyer. Whipped in. Oh! And they've done it! Oh they my it, god! What a Tom Bragg has equalised. He listened to the atmosphere. And look at that. K Dyer's free kick straight my into word. Tom Bragg has just acquired another target here for the Spitfires. And it's 2-2 two -two here at the it. Silver Lake Stadium. I can't believe That this. was absolutely unbelievable. I said just before that move that the two centre-halves at Eastleigh were dangerous, and that was proved so. Oh, that Tom was Bragg absolutely fantastic. With the header, and Eastleigh are back into this game. Inside, what, four, three, four minutes? Final tonight between Eastleigh and Farnborough. One of them is going to end end up on top so it's down to Baptiste and Flitney as with those saves and first up as you said Gabe was Elliot Buchanan left foot is Elliot Buchanan here we go away. slots it easy. away it's a very easy good penalty for 1-0 slots it away in that right corner Farnborough have the advantage one up as Eastley's number nine Dan Smith comes up to take his penalty we'll be looking to slot this away Pull off a huge save for his farm size. It's Dan Smith. 
Straight out the middle. Straight in. That's Calm. unfortunate for Baptiste as well because he was right by the ball. Calm and cool as you like from Dan Smith. Work Easily level. Game. Deserved that. And now it will be Farnborough's number nine in Mitch Parker, the goal scorer. Can he score his penalty? That is the major question here. One all in the, on the spot. Another left footer. Oh, oh that's so unfortunate for Flitney. He Flitney had a touch that. to the ball as well, but unfortunately couldn't keep the ball out. 2-1 Farnborough. Oh, he'll be gutted, Flitney. He got there. And it could have been a miss there easily for Farnborough, but no. They right, have so delivered. Easily super sub. And now the Spitfires. Lyle Simpson. Need to respond. Can he put away the penalty like he did? during that four. second half. No, he no, can't. He can't. No, he Baptiste can't. Baptiste saves. Straight to Baptiste. Simpson gutted. Disbelief. Baptiste. Guttingness there for Lyle Simpson. Had in the second half earlier. He shouldn't be gutted. He got his team back into the game. But uh, exactly. that and means um, that Farnborough are now in the ascendancy. Now, can the main man, number 10, Paul Hodges, slot his penalty away? Oh, that's a emphatic penalty, penalty Jack. Penalty. Emphatic penalty, as that, as that top graphic, corner. As that graphic was just saying, we are um, three um, penalties um, remaining away from each team. The top right net. So Eastley's left back, Louis Paget will take. It's Kay Dyer for Eastley. They've got to get a goal here to have any chance of being in this penalty shootout. Oh no, you're right. Oh, is it? He's at the bar. He's at the bar. Oh no. He's at the oh, bar. Oh no for Eastley, but wonderful for Farnborough. Oh, okay, Dyer will be gutted. So, as it this stands, is Louis Paget now. As it for stands, Farnborough man. if Farnborough can keep going, Farnborough. let's see how Louis Paget does. Slots, Slots away and Farnborough win. They've done the it. Action Cup final. They've beaten Eastley in a penalty shootout. Over the course of the game, fully deserved. We have to say that. Yeah, he's done I amazingly well agree. to get back into the game, but they are enjoying it. And, and the Hampshire FA Cup final trophy for the men's will be taken back to Farnborough. It's a fantastic game. That journey all the way back to North East Hampshire, part of the borough of Rushmore. I mean, he smashed this away as Louis Paget. Gone and celebrated, why not, son? Celebrate all the while. He Wonderful scene. He loves it, look, fantastic. Great result for Farnborough, they have deserved the game. Yeah, no, they have deserved the game, I completely agree. They've been the better team, in my opinion. My man of the match will still be Mitch Brundle, despite the two goals. Easily scored at the end there. But, like you said, I think, I think, um, for Eastley, I think Lyle Simpson's been the main man that's brought them back into the game. Oh, Lyle he's Simpson. come on, he's He'll come on for the Spitfires, brought them back into the game to make it two all. But unfortunately for Eastley, they've been unfortunate in this penalty shootout here. Ladies and gentlemen, the winners of the 2022 Hunter Cup Sporting Event. Congratulations to Farnborough, truly deserved winners of the Hampshire Final Cup.